movieweb.com. Well, this movie is based on a real character. Can you tell the audience a little bit about the real Richard Pimentel? Yeah, Richard Pimentel was basically a guy who came back from the Vietnam War with uh, damaged hearing. And at that time, they told him that his life was over. He couldn't go to college. They weren't going to give him his VA bill. And uh, they said, you know, sorry. And uh, he didn't like the sound of it. And so he, uh, he basically decided against that. Um, and, and then in the course of it, he, he got involved in uh, veterans' rights, getting veterans hired. It kind of spilled over to disability activism. And, uh, and in the end, he, he, uh, he and some friends of his kind of changed the way that we look at people and their abilities. Did you uh, actively scope out this, uh, this role, or did it find you? Um, this kind of found me, actually, and it, was, uh, it came around via sort of a funny channel. Um, my, uh, I've got family in the hearing aid business back in Iowa, mm -hmm. so uh, the director also has family in the hearing aid business, and he got the script to my Uncle Eric. Uh, and so I got a call from my Uncle Eric, and, you know, I got this guy, he's got a script. And I was like, okay, all right. Um, but the script was actually pretty good, you know. So uh, I guess my Uncle Eric will be getting a lot more scripts now. The real Richard, you know, did, did you have to do a lot of research on him? In I order met to him. I got a chance to meet him. Uh, and it was, uh, it, it, the first thing that uh, kind of strikes you about Richard is that you wouldn't know for the life of you. He's done so much work as far as being able to read lips, and he's a public speaker. Uh, for a living, he, uh, he he does a lot of corporate training and uh, and motivational speaking. So there's no way to tell that he that he can't hear, you know. Um, so it was a little bit of a challenge of okay, how am I gonna how am I gonna play this guy, the story of this guy overcoming his disability and blah blah blah, uh, you know, when you can't see it. Um, and I think what I figured out is that ultimately it wasn't really the story of him overcoming his disability because he did that pretty quickly. It was the story of everybody else in the world overcoming his disability. Um, he didn't really have a problem with it. Um, the problem was everybody else's perceptions of what he was supposed to be like. Um, and, and ultimately I think that's kind of a, a more interesting, sto interesting story about all of us. What would you like for the viewers to take away from this film? Um, they're trash because you know, yeah. it's very messy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, just leave it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hope uh, uh, I hope what what people take away from this film is that uh, you know pretty much everybody that you meet, everybody on the street, there, there's a first judgment that you uh, that you meet when you see somebody, and you go, oh, click, you know, I'm gonna stick that label on this person, and uh, those can be useful sometimes, but most of the time they're not. Most of the time, uh, you know, the important things about a person and what you're going to discover after that.